Jeffree Star is an internet sensation who's transitioned his career from a pop singer to a makeup magnate. His journey began in the early days of the internet to today where he is an outspoken and influential YouTuber that has recently hit over 10 million subscribers. To put those numbers into proportion, there are more people watching his content than the amount of people in most big cities. New York has what, 8.5 million people? What's going on guys? My name is Paloma Lopez and you are watching the before and after transformation of Jeffree Star. In this video, we're going to discuss how Jeffrey was able to overcome the troubled circumstances of his childhood and how it was his makeup kit that sent him down the path of stardom, success, and eventually acceptance of himself. As always, let me know who you would like me to document next in the comments down below, and let's get started. Jeffrey, born Jeffrey Steininger Jr., was raised by a single mother after his father took his own life when Jeffrey was just six years old. His mother was a model who frequently was on the road and owned a healthy arsenal of makeup supplies that Jeffrey just loved to play with. By high school, he was regularly wearing his mother's makeup to school and experimenting with pale foundations and bold pink and blue eyeshadows on his face. Initially, the school strictly protested Jeffrey's use of makeup, saying that it was too distracting to the other students. And Jeffrey's mother was having none of it. Not only did she lend him her makeup, but Jeffrey's mother also fought the school tooth and nail until he was allowed to wear makeup every day. Take notes, people, because this is what a badass mom looks like. Jeffrey credits his mom as the one who taught him to be open-minded, loving, allowing him to accept his own sexual preferences early in life without the need to worry about judgment. After graduating from high school, Jeffrey moved to LA and began supporting himself by taking up various modeling, makeup, and music gigs. Of course, they were all odd jobs here and there, which made it really tough for him to support himself. Jeffrey describes this period as using a fake ID to attend Hollywood clubs, dressed in mini dresses and nine inch heels, where celebrities would contract me for makeup work at their homes. During this time, Jeffrey was also active on MySpace, using the platform to spread his work and his ideas of self-image and confidence. It was around this time that he adopted the hot pink hairdo that would become an iconic part of his look. By 2006, he was the most followed page on MySpace and regularly topped the charts as one of the most popular figures on the site. In 2009, his first and only album, A Beauty Killer, was released. During this time, Jeffrey joined the Warp Tour and embraced a flamboyant goth punk look, dressed in all black except for his brightly colored hair. However, his musical career came to an abrupt end in 2013 after he cancelled his second album and left his studio, leading him to launch his makeup brand. What he had to say about the ordeal was that signing with Akon was the biggest mistake he has ever made. While we cannot be exactly sure if it was a fight that went down, most people suspect that it was the label that was just not letting Jeffrey be his true self. After this, Jeffrey invested all of his savings into his makeup brand in a risky move that eventually paid off massively. The launch of Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Jeffree's YouTube channel led him to where he is today, a beauty guru and online personality. But it wasn't easy. It was either this was going to work out for me or I was going to have to go back to the mall and work at Mac again, Star said. It was probably the most scared I've been in my entire life. While he is and always has been outspoken about LGBT rights, he doesn't want to be just seen as a figurehead for the cause, saying, they think I'm just a gay artist because I like guys, but I'm a worldwide artist. All of this being said, this influential YouTuber, like most, has had his unpopular moments as well. When racist comments from his past resurfaced and put him in the spotlight, he faced a storm of criticism head on. In these videos, I say some really disgusting, vile, nasty, and embarrassing things, he said. These videos were 12 years ago, and I look at them, and it just makes me sick to my stomach because I don't know the person who I was. That person was just angry at the world. That person felt like they were not accepted. That person was only seeking attention. But does that make it okay? Absolutely not. Jeffrey now lives with his husband and spreads the message of acceptance and self-love to his followers throughout his YouTube channel. He's come a long way from the not understood high school student to the makeup artist just trying to survive through odd jobs in LA. He's really an outstanding example of the power of individualism and letting your dreams take you to wherever you have to go. So thanks so much for watching guys. If you did like this video and are a fan of Jeffree Star, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time.